Steve the Toucan is scrolling through his Instagram account on his phone. He sees a picture on Instagram of his crush. Aw, they look so cute today. He keeps scrolling down his phone and liking photos from his timeline. Oh, cool. Look at these new Air Jordans. What's this? He then pauses on his friend's post. Steve pauses to look at the photo, where he notices that his classmate Lauren looks sad and by herself while eating lunch. Steve reads the caption that reads, Lauren the Crow is so dull and dirty she probably found her lunch out of the trash and everybody knows it. Steve locks his phone and puts it down. He turns away in his chair and stares at himself in the mirror. A few seconds pass by. Steve decides to unlock his phone his claw hovering over the like button. Suddenly, he starts to daydream. In his daydream, he likes the post. He locks his phone and he goes to sleep. He wakes up the next morning and goes to school where he finds some of his classmates making fun and bullying Lauren. Lauren begins to cry and the harassment continues from her own classmates. Steve notices other classmates just staring and doing nothing Some just walk by, as if nothing were happening. In his daydream, Steve is flying home from school. Lauren is flying nearby him, but is being bullied for flying too slow. Lauren decides to land on a tree, where Steve's other Toucan classmates and friends fly around her, mocking her crow voice. Steve lands home, still bothered by how his friends are treating Lauren. The next day, Steve flies to Lauren's house to talk to her. However, Steve walks into their home, seeing everybody dressed in black while Lauren is missing from the room. A picture of her is in the middle of the room, and the other crows that are surrounding her photo are crying. The ambiance is dark and saddening. Steve wakes up from his daydream and sees the post on his phone, his claw still over the like button. Steve looks out the window and sees other toucans playing in the street, having a good time. Steve looks back at his phone and starts daydreaming once again. He goes back to the moment where Lauren is being made fun of for being a crow at school. He sees his classmates making fun of her and bystanders looking, acting as if nothing were going on. Steve hesitantly yells out, STOP! Everybody looks at Steve shocked and amazed. Steve stands in front of Lauren and tells his classmates to go away. After a minute, everybody leaves and only Steve and Lauren are left in the cafeteria. I'm honestly speechless. Thank you, Steve. You have no idea how those guys made me feel. It's the worst. Steve and Lauren continue to hang out and become close friends. Steve wakes up from his daydream and rapidly flies to school, hoping to find his yearbook teacher, Mr. Robledo. Steve arrives to school, finding Mr. Robledo leaving his classroom. Hey Steve, what a surprise to see you here. Is everything okay? Well, Mr. Robledo, I need to show you something I don't think is okay. Steve shows Mr. Robledo the Instagram post of Lauren. Thank you for showing this to me, Steve. I will definitely be talking to the student and their parents. The next day, the school admins decide to host a pep rally in the auditorium against bullying, and Lauren and Steve go to Lauren's house to hang out and play video games together. Thank you, Steve, for helping me with those bullies. I honestly was having the worst time at school and wasn't doing too well in my classes. Don't thank me, Lauren. Everybody should stand up against bullies, even if they are your friends. (laughs) I'm glad we're friends now, too. Steve and Lauren continue to play video games, and the television in which they are playing video games has a screen that says, In Action or Take Action. 